The lymphatic vessels are an extensive network of vessels, and they are, in a sense, the ultimate in terms of drainage. A small amount of fluid leaks out of the capillaries, as we'll talk about later, and the lymphatic vessels make sure that this fluid doesn't collect in the space between the cells, known as the interstitial space, but is eventually collected in the lymphatic vessels and brought all the way back into the chest and into the venous system, where that fluid then uh, becomes part of the blood and gets into the circulation again, uh, so that we don't develop swelling or edema in the peripheral tissues. We will have a, much more to say about the lymphatic system later, but just to say that the lymphatic system is not just a series of small vessels that drains excess fluid in the tissues, but it also is connected to lymph nodes that are scattered throughout the body, as well as the thymus gland in the neck and the spleen in the abdomen. And each of these components play a major role in the immunological system, that is the defense system against bacteria and viruses. And of course, there are the small vessels as we mentioned before. Functions, as I've also mentioned, it's to return any excess body fluid that leaks out into the tissues back to the circulation. It transports also, interestingly enough, fats from the intestines to the blood so that these substances can be brought to the liver for further digestion and distribution as nourishment to the cells. And finally, they're, as I mentioned before, part of the defense system, part of the major immunological defense system that defends our body against infections of a variety of kinds. Let's look here at the other component of the cardiovascular system, that is the blood vessels themselves. As you see, they start with large arteries that branch down to smaller and smaller arteries and eventually to the arterioles, which as I mentioned before, is the major source of resistance in this circuit. Then following the arterioles are the capillaries. That's where the oxygen is delivered to cells and nutrients are delivered to cells and waste products such as carbon dioxide are removed from the cells. The blood then passes into the venules, very small veins, and eventually to larger veins. And as we've said, returns to the heart to start the circuit all over again with supplying of oxygen in the lungs and loss of carbon dioxide uh, to the uh, atmosphere. Here again, a little more detail of the various blood vessels. The arteries convey blood away from the heart to the body tissues. They bifurcate, that is, they divide into smaller and smaller vessels, eventually reaching the arterioles, which are the smallest part of the arterial system, and that's where the resistance in the system lies, as I've said before. Um, and then the arterioles connect to the capillaries, which are in, in intimate connection with the cells of the body, allowing exchange of oxygen, carbon dioxide, nutri nutrients, and waste products, as I mentioned before. Then the blood goes into small venules and to progressively larger veins, and eventually returns to the right side of the heart to go to the lungs. Here we see, in a very uh, nice cartoon, the arterial system coming out of the left side of the heart, branching down to the arterioles, then into the capillaries, returning from the capillaries into venules, and then into larger veins, and returning to the right side of the heart in a continuous circle. Now, interestingly enough, both within the arteries and within the veins, there are some connections between arteries and arteries and veins and veins. These are called anastomoses, which means connecting mouths. Um, and uh, uh, this happens where any time there are two or more vessels that merge to supply the same body region. This is, in a sense, if you will, a reserve system, so that if one of these arteries becomes blocked, blood will get into the system through the anastomosis and through the sister artery that's still there, and veins actually have even more anastomoses, so that if one of the veins closes down, uh, in fact, uh, the blood will move through the anastomosis into another vein and still get to return from the body. In a sense, it's a reserve system uh, in case one of the arteries or veins closes down. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. 
Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions, customized to USMLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.